Libra. Welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're going to take a look at a little bit of love, a little bit of light, and advice for you for your March bonus. My intention with this is if your March readings didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Um, may not be for everybody, so please keep that in mind. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And uh, male or female watching doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to take the energies as they come, Libra. And you can find everything you need to know, Libra, down in the description box about me, uh, personal readings, tons of stuff down there. And um, I'm still having the giveaway for reaching... 10,000 subscribers as a thank you if you like to enter the giveaway to win a tarot deck and a free 20 minute reading by me check the description box along with the pin top comment on how to enter and if you enter good luck and also head on over to my community tab of my channel there's two polls I would like everybody to participate in it would give me better clarity what kind of readings you would like to see per month and if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo all right, and also Libra, I may or may not be continuing these bonus readings every month, but if you do like them, would like me to continue them, leave me some feedback, some comments, and let me know what you think, or I may uh, change them into elemental bonus readings, which would be fire, air, earth, and water. So I'm not sure, we'll see. So let's see, this is just a quick little bonus reading, hopefully. So let's take a look at love for Libra. And we have here trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So something having to do with trust here with a soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So somebody may be having trust issues with a soulmate or you're needing to trust the universe that this is your soulmate that you could be connecting with, or you could be seeing or dating or some sort of connection with this person. And um, maybe you're not trusting the universe or trusting your intuition that this is your soulmate. <clears throat> we're gonna pull tarot. After we pull these, we're gonna pull tarot to clarify. So let's take a look at life for you, Libra. Life for you, Libra. At this time, thank you so much, Spirit for Libra. Take that one. And we have here Justice. And that is your, wow, that is your card, Libra. This is the Libra card, Justice. Elephant, fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Justice is all about getting justice, serving justice, things balancing out, truth, clarity, something coming to light. So we'll see here. And then while we have the Ace of Autumn here, Calico Cat, you can expect a windfall of abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting, or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. So this is brand new divinely guided beginning and some sort of material gain or monetary gain or a new job, promotion, raise, a windfall of money coming in, winning the lottery. I mean, it could be anything here. If there's been something in the justice system also that you've been waiting for, a settlement or something like that, this is saying that <laughs> this could be coming in for you. And it'll be a lifelong um, new beginning of stability and balance, prosperity, abundance, really never having to worry. All right, so let's see <clears throat> what your advice is for Libra spirit, please. What is the advice for Libra at this time? And we have planting seeds, seeds of grace are being planted as a fertile in the fertile soil of my soul. And you see here all these pentacles flying around almost look like the seeds. So and I just saw under that balance, which is the minor of justice. Wow. So 
you got something big coming in here that'll bring you a lot of growth, abundance, success, justice in some way that will allow you to plant these seeds for a lifetime. Planting seeds for a lifetime, Leo. Wow, I gotta write that down. Sorry, I just, or I forget if I don't write it down, I forget and then I have to go back and watch the video and find <laughs> where I said and what I said and so. And then we have receiving from angels, shimmering wings of angels, embracing me with love. So just know whatever, whatever is coming your way that you're able to plant seeds is heaven sent. It's universally uh, driven. It's divine source. It's heaven sent. Wow. All right. So let's clarify. You probably have angels around you, watching you, guiding you, protecting you, trying to um, lead you. All right. So I feel like, wow, it's almost like uh, trusting this is your soulmate and then you come into union and then having this prosperous new beginning and it couldn't involve this soulmate and it's like you're planting seeds for a whole new life for a lifetime and it's all heaven sent divinely guided energy from the universe wow all right so let's clarify this energy for you libra why is soulmate here with trust for libra i feel like some of you have trust issues with the soulmate or you're not trusting the universe that this is your soulmate. I am feeling that one. Yeah. Five of Wands. Some of you have inner conflict here about whether or not this is truly your soulmate. You're stressed out thinking about this day in, day out, <clears throat> at night, keeping you up. Just don't know. Can I trust this person? King of Cups. So there's somebody, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Somebody here definitely has love and emotions for you. Maybe they don't really state exactly how they feel either because the King of, King of Cups can sometimes not really say how he truly feels. But they do want to move forward here with stability, practicality for the long term. They're very stable and grounded. So if you're not sure, I think you could trust them. It's just that they don't know how to say how they truly feel or they may not say it in the right way. What? Well, may cause you to take them the wrong way or take what they say the wrong way and then you're like well i don't know if i can really trust this so now we have the queen of pentacles so we have a matching couple here king and queen <clears throat> just energy so it it doesn't matter it can be same sex it could be whatever here but somebody here is very stable but we do have the energy this is your energy so i think yeah i think you're just not taking any action you just don't know if you could trust them so you're take you know you may have uh kind of held back your energy from them or you are holding their your energy back from them and you're just kind of doing your own thing thinking healing contemplating i just don't know but we have somebody here who does have love and somebody who's very stable and grounded and secure and wants to build for the long term take it could be you or them but taking it very slow with the knight of pentacles so if you're wondering I don't know if I could trust them. I think, yes, you can. Um, if some of you are having trust issues with a soulmate, I'm not getting any third party or anything like that. But um, maybe it's just fighting and arguing or maybe they've done things and you're just like, Gee, I don't know if I could trust them. But I do see someone with a lot of love and emotions that may not just know how to express them the right way or at all but somebody else here is very stable and grounded so i do see that this can be trusted <clears throat> all right so let's see what this is with justice in the ace of autumn and now we have the ace of cups wow so this actually could be the love over here or this could be whatever um and now we have the emperor emperor empress doesn't really matter so somebody here is like king or queen of their domain, sitting in power, <laughs> having like luxury, having fulfillment in every single way. This brand new beginning, two aces, ace of cups, ace of pentacles. 
being fulfilled, having everything you need, growth, abundance, love, prosperity, everything, and sitting high in your domain, <laughs> like having all your pentacles and not really having the in the Ace of Wands. Are you kidding me now? Wow, Leo. Passionate, fiery, exciting. Leo, I don't even know why I said that. Libra. <clears throat> fiery, passionate, new beginning. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo. Let's see what else do we have here. And temperance fell on the floor. So, I mean, over here we do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, we have Aries here now, and now we have Sagittarius. So, um, this is things balancing out. Peace, harmony, healing, patience. I, th I feel like you will be rewarded for your patience <clears throat> here. And uh, having everything you need, like, for a lifetime here. The hangman in reverse. So, yeah. Whatever was stagnant is no longer stagnant. Things coming to light. Enlightenment. Ready now to take action. Now moving forward. Wow. And living in the palace, uh, palace of wands. Wow. Fiery, passionate, exciting. Zest for life. You know, living every day, every moment passionately. Doing it what you love, what, what you want, when you want, how you want. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, if some of you have a settlement or something coming in, uh, this is, I feel like all going in your favor. We have two aces, three aces here of new beginnings and then three major arcana with the palace card. There's only four of these, four of these in the deck for each suit and very rarely they come out. So this is something major, major, major for you, Libra. So we have uh, Pisces there, Sagittarius, Aries. Wow. Your energy there with Libra. Wow, Libra. I don't know what that is you're waiting for or if you've got money coming in you're waiting on or a big settlement or something. Or some of you may even win the lottery. Something. Or you could have a big, big, big promotion or pay raise or something here. All right. So what is this planting seeds and receiving from angels for Libra. Ten of Wands, so an ending of some kind. And now we have the Ace of Swords, another Ace. Are you kidding me? You have all four Aces here in this bonus reading. All four. So, you know, Tens are about endings laying down heavy burdens. And then you have four Aces for new beginnings. So whatever was burdensome to to you in the past, you're ending all that, and you have all these new beginnings coming in. You can have a new beginning in love, career, finances, money, feeling very passionate, excited for life, maybe doing something that you totally love, having major, major truth and clarity, that's your energy, with the swords, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up, uh, epiphany, aha moment, wow. All right, so in strength. And I had said Leo before. Here's Leo. So <clears throat> being very strong, courageous, and brave, having determination and willpower. Eight of swords. So feeling a little mentally trapped about something now, but I feel like you let that go and release something that's holding you back or weighing you down of something trapped in your head because you have strength which is a major which overcomes this energy and then you have the truth the clarity for your new beginning queen of cups so now we have a matching couple because we have the king over here and now we have the queen definite soulmate energy here so now feeling full of fulfillment joy happiness love compassion and a nurturing caring giving energy because now you have all the seeds you have four aces and here palace of wands here to plant all these seeds of these new beginnings for a lifetime. And it's all divinely guided and heavenly sent. Wow. The devil, though, here. Toxic energy. I feel like that's the Ten of Wands energy here. Whatever was toxic to you in the past, people, places, things, whatever here, ending that, no longer being trapped, overcoming it with strength, now loving yourself, loving, coming from a place of pure love and light, and having that truth and clarity, and that could be divine intervention with the Ace of Swords, of just this big epiphany aha moment, having total mental clarity, 
as you're planting these seeds of a lifetime for like a new life, Libra. Wow. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Palace of Cups. I can't make this up. So, and Fool for jumping in, taking a new beginning here. A new beginning, jumping right in and living in a space of total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, love, compassion, energy with the Palace of Cups energy. Wow. Palace of Wands and the Palace of Cups, love and passionate energy and fulfillment in every single way. Wow, Libra. Amazing reading. Okay, best of luck to you, Libra. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.